out there my name is Milesy and welcome to my channel today I have got a pack of Ciara Syracuse not really sure uh, but it's a pack of polymer clay with 24 colors and ugh, it comes with a few little tools right here for clay I have also got a little mini pottery wheel and I want to see if I can make something with the polymer clay on the wheel and over here I have got some pretty typical pottery tools over here that are all stuck in the bag because of course they are there we go so just some pretty typical tools that you would use for pottery. I'm not sure how many of these will get used, but there they are. And then we've got a couple of itty bitty little plastic ones as well. Now I've worked a lot with natural clays and with plasticines. I've done a little bit with polymer, but I've never really done much in the way of wheel spinning. I understand the concept, but it might be a little bit interesting because I don't know if you can actually do this. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this aside. And we're going to look at the wheel real quick. And I'll just give it a little tilt. This is USB powered. And I can't remember the name of the uh, wheel. I will put it on the screen right here uh, because I have forgotten it and I could not find the box. So one thing that I want to uh, really point out, and you'll notice my lights flickering because I have this on the same power strip as my lights and it does draw a lot of power to get started. So it has an adjustable wheel and it spins both left-handed and the lights are going to flicker. It spins right-handed as well and it seems to go a little bit faster on the right-hand one. Uh, so let's go ahead. There we go. Lights flickered. And you can also change the speed. It doesn't go super fast, but it's not super big. So that's fine. I think I'm probably going to leave it on the left hand setting because that is where I am the most comfortable. I'm not really sure what I want to make. So let's just kind of start messing around a little bit here first. So the clay itself it seems kind of a little bit dried out but that's fine i've got some water i'm going to actually add a little bit to it that should i believe either moisten it up or completely ruin it this is oven baked so we're supposed to do it I think at 275, this is something I did notice. It says up here 120 to 130 and then 275, 130. So I'm guessing the initial temperatures were Celsius. So I'm just trying to See if I can get this to cooperate a little bit more. I don't even know if this will work because I did not look up to see if you can slip polymer clay. So maybe if we just keep adding water to it, we can. Now it is really dry and hard to use. And I've used other things like Sculpey before. And I didn't notice this problem with it. Like it always seemed a little looser. So let me, all of them seem the same amount of kind of hard. So I'm not sure how well this is going to work, if it will even work because, hmm, I need to look this up. Okay, I've grabbed some oil from the kitchen. It seems like water might dry it out, which makes sense. That 
yeah, that is feeling more like what I had expected it to feel like. So, so what I'm doing is I'm just working the oil in and making sure that the clay is uniformly soft. We're getting it all over the desk, but that's fine. And that is feeling a lot better already a little bit more. I feel like this has also been kind of stored for a little too long because it does feel a lot harder than it should. So I'm probably going to need to give it a little bit more because I want to get it to where it's just a little bit slimy, but not completely liquid is what we are going for. And it's getting there. I can feel it getting there for sure. I think you can even see that the texture and consistency has really changed. Let's see if this is enough. Just kind of plop you down there. I might have to move this to a different outlet. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to move it to a different outlet. There we go. It's starting to get there. I think it still needs to be softened a little bit more. But it was kind of working. I do feel it finally kind of starting to behave. Okay. I think it just takes a lot of oil to get it there. even. I can feel it somewhere. Something is sticking out. kind of want it to uh, stop doing that. Whoops. <laughs> Too much. It was kind of working, but it was a little uneven. Now keep in mind, like I said, I've never used a wheel before. I've been in the same room as one. I just never really felt the need to try it. So I'm trying to 
just work the clay. Back into one solid piece because it kind of kind of got away from me there a little bit. Flat. There we go. And I'm just going to keep going. Try to be a little bit more I've just noticed that if I look through the viewfinder on this camera, I can kind of see what the problem is. So like I said at the beginning, I haven't really worked with clay since I was in college, which at this point is about 15 years ago. I had been in classes with pottery wheel i never really wanted to use them and that mainly came from the classes i took in high school i think because <laughs> some of the wheels had these little pegs where you would put the bat on which would help them stay in place which is what you want but there were some horror stories that the teacher told us because he needed us to be very careful that if you didn't have your bat on the wheel just right, that little pin could tear into your hand. And that just terrified me, so I never used the wheel. So as a first experience with a wheel, this was actually a lot of fun. And I was really surprised that it worked at all. Okay, getting there. side maybe It's kind of lumpy and funky, but don't know what it is, but hey, we made something. So I'm going to put that over there. And now I want to kind of see if I can make something with multiple colors. Um, also, where are my heat towels? Let's see, what can we do? Um, let's grab another blue one. So what I wanna do is get this open. And then I want to see if I can combine about three or four colors and get something kind of a little bit funky. So what I noticed last time is the flatter it was, the easier it was to work with. I like that. So let's grab some purple. Okay, there's that. And let's grab, what else do we have? A pink. How about a pink? Now, I have no idea how this will turn out, but... Ooh. 
at least this way, if they do kind of all blend together, we'll at least get a nice color out of it. The pink is really weirdly dry. It does not want to cooperate at all. Okay, so I think this is what we've got. So I'm going to kind of press them on top of one another and hope that they stick. They're kind of shimmying all over the place, but that's fine. Ah. <laughs> Apparently it wasn't. Let's make sure it's a little bit more even. might have it too big and now probably way too oily yep okay so the problem that I'm having also is that this thing has no feet or anything on the bottom, so it's kind of sliding around at this point. Let's give it something to grip onto. There we go. So it just gets a little bit off-center. And because the wheel is off-center, the whole thing just wants to jiggle around. I think I'm going to turn it down a little bit going a little bit more slowly. At this point, I had started to get so into what I was doing that I just completely forgot to talk for about 20 minutes, I think. It was, it went on for a pretty long time. Um, but at this point, I was really kind of starting to get the hang of it, trying to remember what I had just picked up passively uh, from high school and college when I was doing this. Uh, doing these pottery classes. So I kind of had a little bit of an advantage that I wasn't going in completely blind. Like I said, I mostly work with earthen clays. I've done a little bit with plasticine and a little tiny bit of polymer, but aside from another pack of this air dry clay that I got, which if you follow me on Twitch, you've already seen it. Otherwise, the video will be going up at a very nebulous point. I have not done anything with clay in over a decade, so I had a little bit of a basis of understanding, but a lot of this was brand new to me, and at the beginning when I was trying to figure out how to slip the clay, what that means if you don't work with clay is... Typically when you're working with an earthen clay, you would use water to make it more pliable and easier to work with and at a certain point when it becomes more water than clay it's called slip and I think during the other clay that I was working with I was talking with chat because we were on twitch and we were talking about how air dry clay is really weird because you can't slip and score it so 
figuring out that it needed oil instead of water for the polymer clay, that was really nice because all of a sudden it took this medium that I really didn't have a lot of experience with and it made it more in line with what I do know, which are the earthen clays. I did a little bit of uh, ceramics, mostly I just did straight up earthen clay. But once it started to really feel like how I knew it what how I knew it would, it didn't really seem like a brand new medium at all. And one thing I did notice, which is not included in the video because I ended it at the point where I had to go start baking it, is from all of the extra oil that I had to add to make it work on the wheel, the bake times on the back were no longer accurate. And I was telling my husband that these are basically just doodles. They are the pottery equivalent of doodles. I wasn't really trying to do anything specific. Um, that's why I didn't care that they looked really weird. I was just trying to figure out how to manipulate the clay to get the kind of shape that I wanted, what it took to make it go too far, what it took to make it fall apart. So I wasn't really that concerned with getting something that looked perfect because I knew that I was never going to get something that looked perfect on the first try. But when it came out of the oven, I did it for the full 30 minutes. It's still a little bit squishy, which isn't necessarily the end of the world, but it was still really weird, really squishy, especially on the third piece that I did. But overall, it was a lot of fun. I think I learned a lot, and it's definitely something I want to do more of. I am going to, I think, have to go to the supermarket and get my own little bottle of vegetable oil oil if I'm going to be doing this though because I can't keep stealing it from the kitchen. We need that for cooking. So I think I'm going to get my own little tiny bottle to just keep back here. And I definitely want to do more with this. This was a lot of fun and I was really glad I picked this up. It seemed weird and just kind of interesting and different. And that was the sort of thing I was looking for when I was picking out things to have sent to me. Hmm, it's a little off kilter, but it didn't quite do what I wanted it to, but hey, we came up with something. What I do. I love how they get, whoops. Oh, okay. I love how they give you a full size wire for this itty bitty little thing though. How very interesting. So it made a big old mess. And we've got a bunch of little pieces left over. Let's see if I can uh, find my thing. There it is. Let's see if we can make one more thing. One more tiny thing. With what's left over. Okay, it's kind of really, really goopy, but let's see. Oop, nope, stay on there. There we go. Okay, stay on there. Just splat you down. So it's not super duper powerful. That is the very first thing I notice. Oh, it's one can.
if you just want to kind of play around and make little teeny tiny things, you can do that. You can absolutely do that. They're weird, whatever it is I've made, and I've also made myself into a gigantic mess, but I have also learned that you can put polymer clay onto a wheel and turn it. Here we go. I will put affiliate links down below for both of these, both the uh, wheel itself and the clay. I need more paper towels. If you want to check these out for yourself, it, this was a lot of fun. Something a little bit different that I've never done before. didn't really have too much of a learning curve just be careful where you plug it in because it does draw a lot of power and it was messing with my lights until i uh, changed the outlet it was on but that is fine um i'm covered in vegetable oil and clay so i need to go wash up and clean up my desk but thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, all that fun stuff. Check out the links down below if you want to check out these or other items that I have looked at on this channel. And I will see you guys next time.